Most of us know there's a solar eclipse coming on April 8th to us here in North America, and we tend to make a game out of things here on the Game Genius Network, so let's try with eclipse quiz number one. Tell us if this is true or false. Like the ancient Chinese, the Babylonians believed that solar eclipses were bad omens for kings and rulers. They felt that eclipses was God's way of being angry for the sins of men. Well, predicting solar eclipses enabled them to seat substitute kings during solar eclipses with the hope that these temporary kings would face the anger of the gods instead of the real king, sort of like a stand-in. So, is that true or false? You've got three seconds. During a total solar eclipse, the moon appears exactly, well, almost the same size as the sun in the sky, blocking the entire solar disk for viewers in the path of totality, which on April 8th stretches from Mexico, across 15 U.S. states, and into southeastern Canada. There are things that make this next eclipse special. For one thing, the total eclipse on April 8th will be historic because it will be the longest totality on land in over a decade. Depending on the observer's location, the totality could last twice as long as the eclipse we saw in 2017. The eclipse this time is also affecting baseball. The total eclipse on April 8th coincides with two Major League Baseball games being played in cities that fall within the path of totality. Along that path lies Arlington, Texas and Cleveland, Ohio, two cities that will host Major League Baseball games on Monday, April 8th. That's never happened before in the history of baseball, or eclipses for that matter. Eclipse quick quiz number two is does viewing the eclipse affect a person's skin like a sunburn? You've got three seconds. The answer is no. The only danger is for those who look at the sun without the proper eye protection. And what about those solar glasses anyway? Except for moments of totality, you shouldn't look at the sun without the proper eye protection. Never use regular sunglasses to observe the sun. The only way to look directly at the sun is through specifically designed solar filters using solar eclipse glasses for direct viewing and solar filters for telescope and binoculars. It's never safe to look directly at the sun's rays. The scientists and mathematicians can explain everything they want with their numbers and figures, but it's just the feeling and the being there and the emotion and just witnessing something like that that they can't explain. God is coming down from heaven. Oh, spectacular! This is what the word unbelievable was made for. Look at it, Justin! Oh my God, look at it with your eyes! I'm kind of shaking right now. Unbelievable. You know, we've been hearing about how it's truly a once-in-a-lifetime occurrence, and it absolutely lived up to the billing. We just got to totality. There were cheers all around me, and it looks beautiful. Back in 1970, I was 3% away from totality. But this time, I... It's hard to explain. Here's another eclipse quiz. What if it's cloudy where I am during the eclipse? Will I still get to see it? You've got three seconds. The answer is yes. You can still see a solar eclipse if it's cloudy, but you might not be able to see all of the phases. Clouds can suppress light levels, so you may not notice any changes in light levels until about 30 seconds before the eclipse. Then it becomes really dark, and light returns normal after the eclipse. Here's another eclipse quiz. Is this event a once-in-a-lifetime experience? You've got three seconds. The answer is yes for some of us. According to NASA, 
the next total solar eclipse visible from the contiguous United States will be on August 23, 2044. There are a lot of myths that surround solar or lunar eclipses. One of them is pregnant women should not go outside during a solar eclipse because of radiation that could hurt the unborn baby. Another myth is exposure to daylight on fruits and veggies during the eclipse will somehow damage the food. None of that is true, but it is true, cloudy or not. During the eclipse, expect to see the outdoor temperature drop by as much as 10 degrees. Nobody knows exactly what the weather will be like on April 8th, no matter where you are. But subscribe and share this, and no doubt we'll have more for you in just a matter of days on the Game Genius Network. Thank you.